34 seconds to go in the Patoni penalty, and the Sens with a steal. Played up the far side, and Binghamton breaking through center across the line. Bass with it. Back in front of shot, the goal! A pretty little give and go down low, and Andre Benoit with a redirect in front. Binghamton a 3-1 lead as they strike with Patoni in the box. Step to the front, now to the deep slot, centers it. Fuller a drive, and he scores! Corey Locke showing that AHL MVP form as he just sprinted out of the corner, laid it to the slot, and the trigger man, Bobby Butler, put the biscuit in the basket on the power play. It's a 4-2 big support. Benoit will settle it. Dogovitz through the neutral zone. Up on the right wing, Condra slips around Fitzgerald, has some room, fire, he scores! Pogey looking back. But it was Eric Condra finding a seam upstairs, and it's a 6-4 Binghamton lead. Terry a blast, and that one kicked out by Leonard. A sure-handed rush the other way. Zach Smith in one-on-one on Rodney. Oh, it can't freeze. Zach Smith turns it back to the front. He scores! What a follow-up by Zach Smith. The Senators lead leading fourth. Just about do it tonight as we'll let the crowd take you home here on a Tuesday night in Binghamton. Seven to one, your final here in Binghamton now with a chance to clinch a home ice series at the AHL level for the first time since the mid 1990s. Game and a goal apiece. Intercepted to Salvatore. Turns it in right corner. Poked to the near side. O'Sullivan looks to the front, but he whiffs on the centering chance. Now it's free. Oh, to save by Leonard. Once, twice. Leonard covers up with 12.2 to go. Oh, Robin Leonard with back to back beauties to preserve the 1 1 tie late here in the third. No call there. You're going to call Zach Smith early in overtime. I was kind of not getting the call. O'Brien shot. He's got. Jimmy O'Brien in overtime after Eric Condra was dragged down the blue line and no penalty call. Justice served there as Obi rifled it between the pads of Hackett. And Binghamton takes a game two overtime win. Two to one your final here at Toyota Center. He'll circulate it in deep. Scandella and Jerzynski arrive simultaneously behind the cage. Oh, it's center the score! As it went off the hand of Ortmeier to the near side, backdoor shot. The goal! What a feed by Ryan Keller and the finish by Corey Locke, and it's a 2 0 lead for Binghamton. Now with Locke taking the rink wide feed, goes to the slot, moving in Derek Smith. Fire! He scores! Derek Smith sniping it from the right face off dot to make it a 3 0 lead. He lost his stick. He got the gloves up into the face of Derek Smith. With 18 seconds to go, Binghamton will square this best of seven series at two games apiece. Ten seconds to go. We're going to let the crowd take it home here.
the slot. Couldn't force it through. Butler a drive to the front. Chase direction. Still free. Shot is down. Bobby Butler with 8.5 to go in the second of the power play. And Binghamton back in front for a third time at 3-2. Zach Smith, O'Brien to Zach Smith, he fires the sky! Zach Smith with his second of the night, and with 4.04 to go in the third, and the four, two leads for the good guys in white. 21 seconds to go here at the Veterans Memorial Arena with Binghamton looking to take a 3-2 series lead back to Texas Tuesday night. Ten seconds to go. Puck to the near side. Greening flips it off the glass. It'll come free for the neutral zone. That will do it. Binghamton will take number five by a 4-2 final. Back to Penner. He'll slide it to the point being man there by Robbie Earl. To Penner. Into the circle. Back to her feet. Oh, what a save by Robin Leonard. Casey Wellman had a wide open the paddle, put it flat on the ice and deflected that one up and out of play. Binghamton surge straight power play looking at going 0 for 3 here as this game remains scoreless. Now a turnover behind the net, lock centers, shot here, front, they score! Casper Stogemans, I believe, was there to shovel at home off the backhand just as the power play came to an end. And Binghamton draws first blood at 2.28 of period number two, and they've got a 1-0 lead. Down low, that one hit the stick of McMillan. Now it comes free. Butler was sent to the ice as Condor up with it. Feeds a slot. Butler, Foggy, stop! So the third period, Binghamton ties it up at two goals apiece. Binghamton regrouping at their own line here. Still a minute 20 to go on their fifth power play of the night. Looking to snap a 2-2 tie. Keller Chase scores! Holy cow, what a shot by the captain! Ryan Keller short side high on the glove of Matt Hackett. Under the crossbar and Binghamton regains the lead with 10.51 to go in regulation. Wow! And Falk moves in for Robbie Earl. Feeds a slot. Shot kicked out. Nice stop there by Robin Leonard. Nifty centering feed by Robbie Earl. And the shot came from between the hash marks. And Leonard kicked out the left leg to keep it at a one-goal deficit for Binghamton. Houston winning it. It rolls free out through center. They'll turn it back in. And that'll do it. The horse sows. The Binghamton Senators are the 2011 Calder Cup champions as Robin Suffering for Binghamton hockey fans comes to an end tonight as the Senators win the game three to two. They take this Calder Cup championship final four games to two over the Houston Arrows. For the entire Binghamton Senators organization, from coaches, players, trainers, and front office staff, I'm Grady Wittenberg thanking you for being with us from start to finish this 2010-2011 campaign. Enjoy the offseason and enjoy the city's first professional hockey championship as your Binghamton Senators are the 2011 Calder Cup champions. Have a great summer, everyone. We'll see you back here in October on the Senators Broadcast Network.